Thymus is one of the main immunocompetent organs responsible for the development of the cell aspect of immune response. The thymic hormones or peptides count for the maturation of the T lymphocytes, products containing extracts of the thymus have become an important part of the treatment of several types of cancer. The part four of the immunotherapy in bioregenerative medicine is perhaps the biggest part of the book. It is dedicated to the thymus therapy in bioregenerative medicine. This part itself alone contains 17 chapters, each one discussing various aspects of thymus therapy, from the history of development of the thymus therapy to mechanisms of action, clinical evidence of the thymic therapy, and thorough analysis of the outcomes of the thymus therapy in various medical conditions, system by system. The last two chapters of the part four talk about the macrophage activating factor, GCMA forte, and immunomodulating peptides, in particular, super transfer factor. So, what is the actual role of thymus in immunity and what is the role of thymus therapy in bioregenerative medicine? The immune cells of uh, myelopoietic cell lineage, including T lymphocytes, originate in the bone marrow. Immature thymocytes or lymphocytes in bone marrow carry a CD1 marker and are known as T1 cells. As they develop and undergo maturation, they migrate out of the bone marrow, drop the CD1 marker and obtain a CD3 lymphocyte cell surface marker, becoming known as T3 cells. Once T3 cells contact with an antigen appropriate for a cell immune response, the T cell becomes a T helper or induces a cell and adds a CD4 marker to its cell surface to become a T4 cell. Other T cells become suppressor or cytotoxic cells which carry CD8 marker, also known as T8 cells. Once T cell is committed, or T cells are committed, they remain vigilant and committed to that antigen for life. The process of phases of maturation, development, antigen commitment, proliferation and cytotoxic activity of the various T cells are regulated by the thymic hormones and their downstream cell products, interleukins and interferons. Thymic hormones also stimulate non-specific phagocytic and cytotoxic cells to respond to foreign antigens. Since the thymus is one of the main immunocompetent organs responsible for the development of the cell aspect of immune response, the thymic hormones or peptides count for the maturation of the T lymphocytes, products containing uh, uh, products containing extracts of the thymus have become an important part of the treatment of several types of cancer. Therapeutic regeneration strategies include lymphoid tissue specific cell extracts which promote tissue reconstitution and remodeling. Thymus therapy is a type of the cell therapy also called live cell or the fresh cell or cellular uh, therapy in which fresh fetal xenogenic cells or its extracts are administered to subjects. With origin dating back to the early 1900s, modern day thymus therapy was developed by Swedish doctor and scientist Dr. Elias Sandberg in the 1970s. Dr. Sandberg switched from using live cells and created the extract made from the thymus gland of a six-month-old calf. He was able to uh, produce these uh, thymic extracts in a physiological concentration. In other words, the concentration of active ingredients that is the same as naturally occurring. Several commercial thymus peptide preparations, such as the 
TXTVIN, uh, thymolin, thymarin were developed throughout 1980s and published in numerous clinical reports. Stellar Biomolecular Innovation, the research unit of the Stellar Biomolecular uh, Research, is one of the uh, few mass manufacturers of thymus extracts or thymic peptides with no hormone fraction, as all uh, low molecular weight fractions of the peptides are filtered out. Although it is a constantly manufacturing, it's, it's a costly manufacturing procedure requiring the cold enzymatic process of extraction and special filters, Stellar Bio Biomolecular Innovations has successfully created extremely pure products containing only low molecular weight peptides extracted from the thymus of the sheep and rabbits. Immunosenescence reduces both innate and adaptive immunity, impairing the ability to respond to both pathogens and vaccines and leading to increased susceptibility to tumor development through loss of surveillance of formed neoplastic cells and their prior destruction, as well as to autoimmune diseases. Key to this process is thymic involution and atrophy, characterized by both a progressive decrease in thymic cellularity and reduction in tissue organization and loss of T lymphocyte diversity and their effectiveness. Thymic involution with aging ultimately causes a decrease in thymic production of naive T cells and subsequently a constriction of the peripheral uh, T cell repertoire inhibiting T lymphocyte diversity and its effectiveness. Further, this triggers a release of senescence-specific markers such as CD57 and reduction of receptors such as CD62L and uh, uh, CCR7, which decrease the cellular response to antigens and the migration of effective cells to the relevant sites, no, specifically sites of inflammation. Thymic involution also involves the progression of autoimmune disease in all age. Naive T cells react against themselves at a specific site in the thymus through negative selection, both by interaction with thymic epithelial cells and thymic dendritic cells. As these thymic cells are lost with age, the ability to mediate this central tolerance is impaired and there is a greater chance that self-reactive T cells will be released in the periphery. Thymopoiesis is characterized by the gradual differentiation of pro-T cells and most primitive of which is the initial T lineage progenitor, a direct descendant of the circulating bone marrow derived progenitor. The use of the thymic extracts in human experiments to treat various chronic disorders and infections has spanned more than a decade. These successful clinical outcomes have been linked to the cellular immunity rendered by the T lymphocytes, specifically T helpers inducers, suppressors, cytotoxic NK cells, and macrophages, suggesting that thymic extracts affect the function of these cells via the regulation of their production, activation, and maturation. The literature gives an account of thymic extracts being used either orally or as injectables by itself or in combination with other therapeutic agents to treat various diseases. Such diseases and uh, clinical trials are further discussed in the book immunotherapy in bioregenerative medicine. The next few chapters analyze specific outcomes of the clinical use of thymic peptides in management of various diseases uh, system by system. Thus, clinical application of thymus therapy in respiratory diseases, gastrointestinal conditions, dermatological conditions, autoimmune diseases, 
uh, chronic infections, HIV and AIDS, and malignancies. Separate chapter describes benefits of thymus therapy in anti-aging and longevity medicine. Immunotherapy with thymus extract has been hypothesized to prevent premature aging, slow down accelerated aging, reduce frailty, reduce chronic disease, and increase longevity, especially in elderly people. The thymic peptide therapy can be administered by injection for at least three weeks, varying between twice a week to daily. For severe cases, such as uh, malignancies, a longer therapy duration of six months up to a year may be necessary. For chronic diseases, it is possible to take a three to six months break before commencing the second cycle of thymus therapy. In the course of treatment, the immunological parameters showed the normalization of the immunological functions in the elderly after three weeks of therapy, only three weeks of therapy. Today, thymus therapy is becoming increasingly popular for the prevention or and for healing of the diseases in middle and advanced age, including um, uh, autoimmunological disorders, heart failure, atherosclerosis, various uh, blood circulatory disorders, which affect the major organs, as well as increasing the longevity. Strong immunity improves elderly people, all the people, people's resistance to adverse environmental influences and intrinsic factors which accelerate the process of aging and immunosenescence, thus delaying the aging process and reducing the risk of morbidity. As everything in medicine, thymus therapy also has possible adverse reactions and contraindications. If you want to know more about this matter, you can find it by purchasing and reading this book.